What is going on everyone? My name is Matt and welcome back to this Final Fantasy IX playthrough. This is going to be part 15. 15 in the series. We just got finished with Fossil Rue and we are about to head... Oh, okay, that's fine. Just interrupt me. Just interrupt me. That's fine. That's fine. Anyway, I think we're about to head to... Shoot, what's that place called? I don't know, it's just a place where you get married. Or something like that. Let's eat this guy. Um. Learn Matro Magic. Ooh. Okay, so let's go here. Don't even know what this is. I forget what it's called, actually. It's not that I don't know what it is. Conda Pite. Conda Pitae. Conde Pitoi. We came all this way and there's still no mist at all? Yeah, what a weird shaped village. What is that thing? Maybe it's a temple of some kind. It's very, it's very delicious shape. Inside must have fine cuisine. God, why can't I just get rid of that thing? All he slash she, she slash he ever thinks about is food. Well, all you ever think about is girls. Uh, that's right. My mind is filled with thoughts of you. That was weird. That was awkward. Maybe I'm trying too hard. Boy, you know you're gonna get that woman. Rally ho! Rally ho, rally ho! What, what's up with these little guys? R rally ho? R rally ho. Rally ho, rally ho! Hey, hold up. Rally ho, rally ho! Oh, okay. Riley Ho's our sacred greeting. Or sig sacred greeting. If ye dene say <laughs> Riley Ho, then ye can a enter Conde Pite Hamtoon U the Dwarves. Now wait just a minute here. Riley Ho, Riley Ho. Riley Ho. Riley Ho, ye can pass. Okay. Oh. Raise your. No. Ye have to raise your hand up and open your mouth. Wide when ye say rally who? Can I? Yeah, yeah. Anybody got any weapons in here? No, it you do. Nothing. Of course you don't got anything. Oh, what's going on? Mogmat, hey, look, Mogmat, it's got my name, yay, it's got my name, I'm in the game, Square Enix thought about me, uh, oh, what's back here, Rally Ho, Rally Ho, Rally Ho, you, you'll be needing a good weapon for the rude, will you know, Poison Knuckles, I know exactly who those are for, but I can't tell you guys yet, oop, gonna get that, I will right, we'll buy one of those. Sure, we'll buy one of those. Buy one of those. Uh, I don't want to buy these. Yes, I gotta. Heist ye back. I can sell ye what you'll be needing. I need all my killers that I can get on. I'm sorry, but I feel like all the killers and even Man Eater, which is technically a killer. Uh, those really do help help you out in this game. MP attack is, I guess you could say, it's it's, it's an alright attack. Uh, it uses your own MP to raise attack power, but it uses quite a bit of your MP. Ah, uh, no, I can a let you pass, ye pass. Fuck you. Okay. Oh, that's right. I don't even have Vivi with me. Come on. I don't even look at the ATEs. I don't even know if you need to. This is where we give thanks to the sun and the heavens. Vivi? What's the matter, Vivi? Um, these two people. That hen ye cooked for me was awful good. It was. What way did ye cook it? Did ye frizzle it with some oh your magic? Oh your magic? The berries ye traded me were a student, a student too. 
But like say, what's a wee lad like he doing here that day? Hey Vivi, do you know these people? How could I? I've never been here before. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll try talking to some other people. Damn it, Vivi. Where's my bitch dagger? Here, a man, a woman, joined by the bliss and of the sun. Of course, we are wicked, too young, to age, blah, 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 blah. Nothing? Really? It's over here. Thank you. Uh oh, there's a dog. Get away. Get away from me, you beast. You damn beast. Screw you guys. All you guys do is drink liquor. Drink your liquor and drink your hose. Takes me to the same room. Thought so. Whatever. Hey! Oh, let's go up here. There we go. Oh, over here. Over here. There's a black mage. Hmm? Plenty things. Your goods are always welcome here. <clears throat> hey. What the? What? Wait. Hang on, Vivi. Uh-oh. Yep, we have to go to the Black Mage Village. Come back. Vivi! Sedane, what's going on? I have no idea, but we gotta catch up with Vivi. Damn right. Leave Quinn out here. Ah, oh, he's gotta come. Vivi, where's the Black Mage? He ran away. Huh? Where the heck did he come from? Has Bron found us? Do ye can the pinty hits? Huh? Did you just say pointy hats? Nay. I said pinty. Pinty hits. They often come from the southeast forest. They trade with us. They... You mean there's lots of them and they live near here? Aye. But ye got to go all the way around yon cliff and then go east to find the southeast forest. They live side deep. Uh, they live side deep in the forest that even Alice Dine live there. I cannot get this... Uh, this, like, language down. What's that supposed to mean? Zidane, I want to go to the southeast forest and find them. I almost said southeast. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea. We might find some clues. Find? If possible, to try new food anywhere, fine. Alright, let's head to the southeast forest. There it is. Black Mage Village. I love this part. I always felt like this was the place for Vivi. He needs it. I think he... Oh, I think they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. Okay, well he ran down this way. Ah, you son of a gun. Wow. You know what, before I even do anything. That's right, you gotta go over here. Get rid of these owls. Ah, you son of a gun. Let's go this way. Please. I don't wanna... I don't wanna die. Ah. I don't like it when any of my characters die. Of course, nobody likes when any of their characters die. Yay, Zidane's got over a thousand HP. Really? Oh god, we're gonna get into another fight. Please don't die. We're getting into a fight. And we are back. No! So I was trying to kill the owl, but then I realized that he doesn't even learn anything from it. Oops. 
All right. Yay, there we go. Now we are inside. There we go. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> okay, so you can tell that they're in hiding because of the way that he did that. Black Mage Village. Yay. Ah! <laughs> Humans. What's wrong? Whoa! Humans, run! What? Wait! Did you see them? Y yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. Viv, you're such a bibby. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way, but I- Hey! A village? Village always have good food. I go find. Jeez, you people. Well, let's give me some, uh, uh, some equipment. Welcome. Huh? Can I help you? Damn right, you can. Gladius, that's gonna be used for upgrading my... Or getting another weapon. Is there still nothing in here that I can get that's better? Survival vest. What does the Phoenix Pinion even do? Cures KO, it cannot be used in the field. Oh, sweet. Wow, that guy looked like he didn't even want to help me. You bastard. Bastard, bastard. Save! You know, I feel like I should do the ATEs because I feel like that's more- that gives you more of a full effect of the game. Because throughout the whole entire game, if I'm not doing it, then you're not going to understand the little side stories of the other people. And I don't want you guys to feel that way at all. So, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So I guess I might as well. But if there's one for Quinn, I'm not doing it. Life on everyday life. Life cycle. Please don't tell me this is one with Quinna. Please. Please. Oh my god. Aha. I know you hide food. Get out. This egg is ours. It's chocobo egg. Chocobo egg super delicious. We share and eat it? We're not gonna eat it. The chocobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving. That's right. We're gonna raise it for her. You're cr you crazy. You never raised any animal before. Shut up. We can so do it. I not believe you. You eat. You blah blah blah. No way. Sure. Whatever. I couldn't even read that. I don't want to eat a damn chocobo. What a bitch. Chocobos don't deserve to die like that. Alright. Life on the run. Let us do this. Let us do this. The humans are here! See, in case you haven't told, Vivi feels very excluded. He always thought that he was the only one who could talk. And uh, now that he's found a village where he finds that there are others that are like him, he... He, I guess he's trying to communicate with them and ask them, I don't know, just how how they even get here, all this stuff. So, and keep in mind, what would you do if you were the only one? Is she slash he with you? Can you take him somewhere else? Zidane, you want to eat too? Chocobo egg, very delicious. We're never going to give it to you. <clears throat> Holy crap, my voice is really freaking, like, I'm getting like a bubble in my throat. I know some of you know that feeling, but either way... Yeah, so imagine living in a world where you have nobody. You are the only one that you think is like yourself. And I guess that's just how Vivi's, or I guess that's just how Vivi feels. So, different language, visitor, not invader. Okay, the ATEs, I really should have been watching those because this gives you the full effect of the game. Um, excuse me, why are you here? This is our village, yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about, using us. You mean about Vivi? 
That's not true, it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so... Besides... The person who is sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? All humans are liars. You're lying. But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. They're like, huh? Oh, can I go up that ladder? No. Oh, fuck you too, then. I love the music here. This is an end, but we're not ready to check you in. Okay. Virgo. There we go. So now when we get a trainer, we can give that to the woman. Give that to the woman. She shall give us a prize. Alright. So now let's go over here and we're going to communicate with Vivi. Different language. I like Vivi. Is he the one who came here with a group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware. Just like us. Th thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is a... Uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground? Yes, our friends are buried under here. But, why? That's because... I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. So I guess that each and every single one of these black mages are on a time clock. So I guess that gives you a little hint of how why Vivi is also very curious. I guess now. It's probably going to raise more questions for him. My friend who knows lots of things told me that this was what death was. And we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What, what's he talking about? You know, sorry to talk for a second, but think about it like this. You wake up one day, and they basically just tell you that you have to kill these people, and you don't even understand why. So, what would be the first thing you do? You want to leave. What is a disease, or was he hurt? Tell me, why? That's because, and then da da da. So now Vivi's gonna be very even more sad than he already is. So he's about to learn the truth. Ah, man, sorry. Oh, fuck you. Don't wanna deal with you. They're all so rude. Okay, they're not rude. Well, can I really blame them? I mean, we do look like a human. Oh, Zanane, what's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? It's a Dane. It's just get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Cause you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that? Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm gonna go look for him. Uh, hey, Dagger. Not again. Welcome back. Black Cat Synthesis Shop. Rune Tooth. Yes. Yes. I don't have any. Okay. We'll get one of... Whoa. No, 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 no. I need... I need some of these. Oh, man. What does this even do? I want to get some of these things, but I don't know if I need them. Well, actually, I need to go get a Mithril Dagger. Sorry, Exploda. I love you, but Rune Tooth is going to be better for me. Rune Tooth! Oh, man. Okay, let's equip him. Yay! What's over here? Eight hundred and forty-three gale. Oh man, I feel like I just stole someone's like life earnings here. 
<clears throat> if you really think about it, though, they did a nice job building a little palace place here for themselves. Okay, so now we gotta go find Vivi. Hey, Vivi! What's up with him? No, I wanna go after Vivi. I don't care about hearing what these people have to say. Hey, how come you guys can all talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day. And there was a human body lying next to me. His body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me, and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while. That's how I ended up here. I see. Oh, so they didn't build it. <clears throat> I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Uh, probably cold, bruh. Vivi's not in here. Where is he? Nope, not in here. I know he's not gonna be in here. All they in there is a chocobo egg with Quina. Damn you, Quina! All right, let's go over in here. Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane, it's it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Grr, I'm hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Y yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around nonstop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. I'll rest. Yeah, we'll call it a day. I always liked the Black Mage Village. I don't know what it was about it. Zidane and Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Exactly. Let the little guy go. Think about it. I always like this scene. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe, just maybe, he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah, a place where he belongs. Damn right. He deserves it. Hey Zidane, when you said home... What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left the home of his adopted father and went on the quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. A notion, maybe. Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? No way. The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Wham, pow, wham, whack, bam. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already... Maybe. 
It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. <clears throat> wow. Hello, nice to meet you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words, but you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of, our, seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stopped moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I just want to- I don't want to stop, and maybe I want to run away from it all. Welcome to the club. You see, guys, that is how everyone feels right there. You don't want to die. You, just, you wish you could just run away from that. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. See? That gives you a reason to live. You gotta find something that makes you want to live. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Exactly. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning? I... Man, I always love this part of the game. It really gets into Vivi's storyline. Everyone in this game has a storyline. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Zidane, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Kondapide said there was a place called Shang Sanctuary where entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there, and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? If Vivi says he's staying behind. Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I'd get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You know can't leave me here, I starve. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go everyone, to Kondapite and to the sanctuary that lies beyond. Okay, well while we're doing all this, you know, I don't want to bother you guys with all this stuff. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I absolutely love this part of the game. It's when Vivi, I think, kind of finds himself. And he's not just a little boy. Well, he, of course he's a little boy, but he's not hes not clueless. And he at least has an understanding now of what's going on and how can he, you know, function with knowing what he knows now. So, either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you happen to like it, why don't you click that subscribe button down below and join me upon this throne. And as always, guys, I will be seeing you in the next video. So until then, take care, everyone.